I'd like now to give a brief presentation and introduce Mr. Koji Tsuruoka, who's the Ambassador Extraordinary and Potentiary Embassy of Japan in the United Kingdom. Mr. Tsuruoka has been also uh, representing Japan noticeably in the United mm -hmm. States more recently. He's been also in charge of multilateral issues of the United Nations. And finally, uh, just again a, a little quote. Um, Mr. Tsuroka talks about Japan and UK. Our ties have flourished and we have come to share vital fundamental values including democracy, the rule of law, human rights and open and transparent markets. We are both committed to upholding the international system and norms. Dynamic economic cooperation is at the heart of our very solid bilateral relationship. And his mission as ambassador in the UK is to strengthen bilateral relations in major, every major respect, political, economic, and cultural. Please welcome the ambassador. I'm a professor and a fellow 
with no teaching duties, no <laughs> research duty either. So I really don't know why they chose to assign me to do that. But probably because being uh, in a foreign land, uh, being an ambassador, uh, is a learning experience in itself because I'm exposed to different experience, different people, different culture, and uh, a experience like today where I have a great deal to learn from each and every one of you. So I'd like to uh, return the f uh, this uh, favor uh, by uh, uh, sharing with you uh, one uh, perspective that I uh, have uh, uh, come to observe, uh, being in London and looking at the world, especially the last two to three years, I should say. <coughs> and this is the challenge that the world is currently confronted with. And second, how that challenge should be met. Now, what are the challenges? Uh, the warden spoke about uh, uh, the media changes that uh, compels uh, students or even the practitioner today to acquire uh, new knowledge, new science, new technology in order to deploy uh, the knowledge or the expertise that they have and therefore the means of delivery is no longer the traditional just uh, writing papers. Uh, there are, uh, Professor Tosa uh, has shown us a new way of communication. This is indeed uh, a means over which uh, you challenge the new world. But what are these challenges that are really serious for us? I look at those challenges as those that may affect the humankind of tomorrow. Because we live today, we can only do what we can today. But those who will be living tomorrow may depend on what we live today do today. If there were no uh, one that established it, uh, Kyoto University in 1897, of course, uh, uh, President uh, Yamagura would not have been here. So again, again, this is really so obvious, but then it is history and everything has to be done uh, in perspective into the future. The global order that uh, has been created uh, after the Second World War uh, has been a source of stability and predictability. If there is no predictability or stability, then people just cannot operate. If you think tomorrow is going to be the end of the world, you will try to use the remaining 24 hours to do whatever you want, and that means no order, nothing. But if you think there will be a future, then you invest into it, and then you try to set up a better world tomorrow than you live today. And this is the importance of having a global order. Of course, everything starts from the family, uh, from the community, moving into the city, the state, and then the world uh, uh, as a whole. Uh, the world as a whole today has become so small. The means of communications have developed so rapidly that uh, in the uh, last 10 years or so, everything is now uh, seen in terms of seconds only requiring the uh, both way communication or multilateral communication taking place uh, around the world. You can communicate with people in different time zones uh, through the internet or through other devices and this has not been something you have known in the past. So because the means have developed the distance between people and culture and country has almost disappeared. It is, we are all living in the same room. At the same time, if there is no order, uh, these will be, I'm sure Mr. Uh, Professor Maggiormi uh, will teach me better, it's not the survival of the fittest or the strongest. Because if you, if we, human being, only place 
value on strength or physical strength uh, more precisely, then the weaker side will disappear, eliminated. And that reduces the value of uh, having a more variety, having <coughs> different uh, smaller part of the uh, community become maybe major in the future and taking up all the seeds of uh, progress that uh, we could achieve. And that is why stability, predictability based on rule is very important. In the post-Second World War or global environment, the basis had been, as uh, uh, had been read out of my uh, um, uh, previous uh, uh, remarks, uh, freedom, democracy, rule of law. And these are all based in allowing individuals to perform their best. If uh, people cannot perform their best, we are wasting opportunity and resources. How people can become uh, capable of performing their best is indeed the sources of our progress and our wealth. The global framework of rule-based international order is one of the major uh, frameworks that uh, the world has benefited so far. But because it's been understood like air or like uh, water or anything that uh, is available for free, not much has been thought that we need to keep those framework alive, sustainable and operational. There are countries, again today, um, I was told there are uh, multinational uh, people here in the room. Uh, the multinationality is expanding uh, very rapidly. Uh, race, color, religion, uh, culture, it's all varied. And we are under the threat of uh, some particular part uh, or some particular uh, people uh, resenting the existing system and therefore we are exposed with the terrorist threat. There are all the issues, uh, ma a major magnitude, uh, a, we, I just don't understand, but uh, people in country, in normal country leaders will deploy resources to benefit uh, the people, but somehow it's uh, deploy, uh, investing into uh, rockets and uh, nuclear experiments uh, uh, to the detriment, in my view, of their own people as well as the whole world as a whole. And these are challenges that cannot be ignored and we need to address them. Of course, I'm not going to go into detail or in a concrete way of uh, how that can be done because uh, that uh, is not something you will be interested. It will be a uh, uh, one-year uh, um, lecture on international politics and international law, which you are not uh, students of. But I thought that I would mention this to you because as we deal, as a pro a professionals like I deal in that part of the world, the most important device, after all, is communication. If you cannot communicate, then you cannot bring people together. You cannot have common perspective and common understanding on what needs to be done and what we need to do. Deploying resources require lots of efforts and energy. If you are not convincing, people will not even lift a finger. But if you agree that this is something worthy of the effort, then you can mobilize individuals who will again become groups, community, and eventually the whole world. And in order to do so, you have to communicate. Of course, communication requires good content that needs to be communicated. But communication means very, very important. And uh, Professor uh, Tosa has shown to us how she communicates her values. So it can be appreciated by anyone who can see it. And that is the a driving force for the next step that the communication will allow our people to function. So each and every one of us has small or big 
or major parts to play in the world. Uh, I have no part, I'm sorry, on the arts or science. I'm just a layman, and I didn't even go to Kyoto University. I went to the wrong university in Tokyo. <laughs> so, uh, of course, I have not acquired that skill. But I am working elsewhere. But we are all part of the community, and we all have something to contribute. And it's all these small, or some people do major things, pieces that needs to be brought together if we agree that we need to bring the world into a better place to work. So thank you very much, and I'm sure that uh, you will enjoy the, the whole day. Uh, it will be most informative and also entertaining. Thank you all very much. For